All right, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm going to leave the disclaimer up for five seconds. And then, uh, hi, get the, uh, get the video started. All right, guys, um, this is going to be the week ahead for the week of July 31st to August 4th. Um, we're going to have a look first uh, at the dollar index on the weekly time frame. So um, the dollar index printed a green candle last week and we ended we ended around within this uh, sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency and we rejected off the um, the low of this green candle. Um, just looking at the weekly chart, my first my first intuition would be that we'd want to come up and re-deliver this sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency so perhaps trade down on monday and tuesday and then trade higher um, let's take a look at the daily chart we do have a daily uh sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency here okay And we have um, buy side liquidity up at oh the high of that candle 103 spot 572. So guys, I think the dollar index, uh, looking at the weekly and then looking at the daily chart. Let's take a look at the one hour. Yeah. So guys, I'm going to be uh, buy side biased. Um, my call on the dollar index Sunday, July uh, July 30th is going to be uh, a buy side bias here on the dollar index. Um, I think that we're likely to trade, or it's possible, right? I think we're likely to trade to the low of this black candle, which is at 102 spot 226. Um, I think it's less likely but possible that we trade above the high of this candle, which is 102 spot 564. Um, but I do believe that the dollar index is going to draw up to these equal highs. Um, I know it's not exactly equal, guys, but it comes in at 103 spot 572. So going into the week of going into the week of Monday, July the 31st to August 4th, my call on the dollar index is uh, buy side biased. I'm buy side or long biased on the dollar index, meaning that. Um, I, I would expect maybe some risk off. Um, all right, so I'm buy side biased here on the dollar index. We'll see whether that call plays out. Let's get to the ES. Yeah, so the ES just redelivered. Uh, yeah, redelivered into. Hey guys, so again, my call on the dollar index. I'm recording this video on Sunday, August 30th, and I am buy side or long biased on the dollar index. Um, on August 5th or August 6th, uh, next weekend after the week is over, I'll review and see if my call on the dollar index was correct. Okay, guys, call on the um, S&P 500. So, guys, there's three calls, basically. There's buy side bias, sell side bias, and neutral. Okay, or no bias. Um, dollar index on the weekly chart. We just redelivered this volume imbalance at three straight up weeks. Not really get anyth anything off of the weekly. Let's take a look at the daily. Daily chart, two black candles here. If we traded above them, maybe an order block. Um, Fridays, okay, so we had a, we had a consolidation. Dollar index is moving higher. Could get down to the 50% of that of that candle there. Um, take a look at the weekly chart again. That's a very long wick. This almost looks like something that was reaching to fill in this inefficiency. Let's see what we have on the daily chart. We have a high, we have a low, we have a higher high. That is an ICT bearish breaker right there. Um, but we are tr we traded just above it. We closed just below. Okay, guys, um, S&P 500, I think, 
Um, I'm sell side biased. Uh, black candle next week, um, and I would expect that the price would likely come and tag 45, 45, 75, um, which is the mean threshold, uh, the midway point of this black candle here. I do think that we're going to come tag that. We have relative equal lows down below 45.54 evens. Um, we have a we have a uh, a redelivery of a higher time frame level. Um, I'm I'm pretty neutral on it, but I'm leaning sell side bias on the S&P 500, and my my target to tag would be 45.45 three quarters. Um, but also, let's take a look. We have a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency here on the weekly chart. So, so um, I would say it's, you know, we could come in and trade back into that. That's possible. So, yeah, I'm sell side biased with a target of 45, 45, um, three quarters on the uh, S&P 500. So, guys, we'll check out next week and see how that call works out. And then let's get over to the NASDAQ. I need to change which template I'm using. Okay, NASDAQ. First off, let's highlight our inefficiency. So we have a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency here. We traded into it rejected it, traded lower. Let's see now in terms of liquidity what we have. We're going to have buy side liquidity here. And we're going to have sell side liquidity below that same green candle. Um, and then we're going to have an inefficiency here. Just getting some All right. It's it's more difficult for me to say on the Nasdaq. I think it's pretty reasonable that the price would want to come in and further explore into the sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. But I could also see us having a retracement lower into the fair value gap, the one week that we have below. Um, take a look at the daily. Okay, guys, I'm going to be um, initially buy side. Uh, uh, no, I do think it at least wants to get to the low of that candle. We do have a high, low, higher high that is actually a bearish breaker, believe it or not, or high, low, higher high. It's also, we're in a bearish breaker. Um, Okay, guys, let me be pretty specific with my call on the NASDAQ, um, and we will check out next week whether this plays out or not. Guys, I think the NASDAQ is at least going to want to come and tag the low of that candle there. So I think it's going to want to come and tag at least 911 quarters. So trade up to 911 quarters. After that, there's two scenarios that I see. We could tr take out the buy side liquidity and then trade lower, or we could just re-deliver basically that 9.11 quarters um, and then draw back down into that inefficiency lower as long as, you, and also guys, these equal lows down here, those relative equal lows. So we have a liquidity signature below us. We have an inefficiency on the weekly chart below us. We've also got a daily buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. And of course, guys, this is an ICT bearish breaker, high, low, higher, high, or high, low, higher, high. Um, so. I'm, I'm tentatively leaning sell side biased. However, I think that we are going to at least tag. Like, I would not be super comfortable in a longer time frame getting short if we have a not tag 9 11 quarters. So, I'm leaning sell side biased on the NASDAQ. Um, 
with the caveat that, guys, we do have buy side liquidity above us, and we have a one week fair value gap above us. So, you know, the, the NASDAQ could just want to come in, take out that six, 16,062 three quarters high, um, you know, take that out and then trade lower. So, I'm a little bit more bearish biased, sell side biased on the ES than I am the NASDAQ. And like I said, I, on the dollar index, I'm certainly more bullish biased um, with these equal highs up here. I would at least expect the dollar index to come in and trade to the low, the, the open of that candle right there. So the, that open would be at 102 spot 299. So I would be at least expecting that. Um, so considering that I'm, I'm, I'm buy side biased right now, Considering that I'm buy side biased on the, um, I'm buy side biased on the, the dollar index. I'm sell side biased on the S and P 500. Guys, I think overall the Nasdaq, um, it's pretty reasonable to expect that we might get some black candles now. I mean, we we've really been pushing it. However, like I said, I do think that the Nasdaq is at least going to want to probably come into the low of that candle. 15,911 quarters, potentially go and take out that buy side liquidity at 16,062 three quarters. However, um, as you can see here, when the NASDAQ gets too many, like down here, like for example, do you see how, how they did this? You get too many equal lows in one spot, it's reasonable to expect the NASDAQ to come and sweep that. So guys, I would be pretty cautious here. I'm, I'm sell side biased, but not super strongly. Um, I would be very nervous. Why? Because look at that low down there at 15,043 three quarters. We've got many days lows down there, guys. That means there's going to be a lot of institutional liquidity down there, and you, you cannot ignore that. You cannot ignore that there's going to be a lot of institutions with, with stops below the, that green candle there. So I, it's very reasonable to expect the NASDAQ to kind of do a similar thing that it did here, come in and sweep those lows. So. Uh, to be very specific, guys, at, you know, not to mince words with you, I think that on the daily chart here, I think that 15,043 three quarters, as in where the sell side liquidity is, and there's a one week fair value gap, I think that that is vulnerable. So my upside target on the NASDAQ is 15,911 quarters. My downside target would be 15,043 three quarters because that is where we have a lot of sell side liquidity. I am leaning sell side on the NASDAQ, okay? I'm, my call, my prediction, my anticipation is that the NASDAQ will this week come in and sweep 15,043 three quarters, if not trade lower. Okay, guys, that has been the week ahead for the week of um, August, the week of August 31st, sorry, July 31st to August 4th. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, we will review next weekend or at some point, but preferably yeah, next weekend, we will review and see how my calls worked out. Sell side biased on the ES, sell side biased on the NASDAQ, uh, buy side biased on the dollar index. Bye-bye, guys.